Okay, that's enough. I've been at this for well over two hours. I just wanted a name tag for a prank. But I did get some nice things. A mending bow, an infinity bow, lots of fishes of course, a power book, pufferfish, good for potions. I am a bit tired of always being the poorest guy on the server, so I thought we could head out today and look for a village. That way we could get a lot of resources and uh, maybe sell stuff at the new shopping area that is uh, being built right now. So what should we bring? We actually need obsidian, so we'll need to go down a quickie in the mines. I can't find my gunpowder. It's kind of silly, really. I only had one, but it's kind of a dear memory to me. I shot my first witch over there with my first bow and I got a uh, gunpowder. It is in my first episode and uh, I've just kept it here. I thought maybe I'd frame it one day. But it's gone. There was a strange visitor coming up here I saw when I was fishing. No, who would do something like that? I'm sure I've just misplaced it. Okay then, let's go. Nice, 14. That's enough for a square portal, I think. So let's head into the nether. And I have the coordinates written down here. I hope no one has already looted that village. Okay, this is a good sign. No one has gone this way yet, it seems. Alright, let's turn left. This is scary. Oh no, we need to pass this dangerous place. Bullseye. Oh no, skeletons. Hmm, their aim is bad. I like that. Okay, perfect. This is the spot. Let's light it up. And hopefully we are the first ones at this village. Yes, it looks untouched. Good day, sir. All right, let's get comfortable. We'll start by planting some sugarcane. We'll remove all the nasty cactus. Why are no one going inside? Good morning, everyone. Don't you have beds of your own? The houses seem to be very empty. I wonder if someone has been here after all. I haven't seen a single bed, no workstations. Okay, we have some stone masons. Oh, I thought stone was one of their first trades. So we need clay or emeralds to get that going. We can hire two cartographers just for the paper trades. Nice, what a deal. And now, can we unlock one of the stonemasons? Ah, uh, is it gonna take some time? Oh, by the way, I had an uninvited guest in my house the other day. You know that minigame on the server, where I have a secret target that I must try to splash with a poison potion? Well, I am, of course, also someone else's target. So, I was just checking the light levels in my house, when I heard the door open, and I ran like crazy. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I had just made my safety escape route. <laughs> <laughs> really? 
I logged on yesterday and recorded a thing like, oh, the hunt begins, and I quickly went and brewed all my stuff, and then right as I collected everything, you're like, all right, I'm off, bye. And I was like, no! <laughs> no! So early this morning to like got my daughter off the day early so i could log on and try and catch you again and i saw you in the window my heart was racing i don't really do pvp that often oh, so. not me either <laughs> oh, but it's a fun game orbney is so good coming up with these uh, oh. kind of games i don't know how he does it the, the dude's a genius okay if yeah. i might just put my armor on that might make it easier <laughs> that's even more cool. creepy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but come on up and you'll get the new papers. This is your new target. I will keep that hidden off camera and check that on my own. Well, thank you very much, Decoy. Thank you for playing. Thank you for the visit. Yeah, no worries. Next time I'll try to visit less hostility. Yeah. You're always welcome. So, we're out of the minigame. I wonder who will win. Hmm, a slime. A lead is also something I wanted to get for that prank I mentioned in the beginning. But I haven't encountered a single wandering trader, so this is perfect. Alright, a temporary wall around the village is complete. We have a wheat field there, melons, sugarcane. Mineshaft down there. We have two stonemasons with unlocked uh, stone trades. So now we really need a silk pick. Let's do it. No fortune. Let's disenchant. And do it again. Please. Last try. Only efficiency 4. We'll buy a silk touch book from Croc. Oh yes. Let's actually have a quick look at the shopping district. Very cool. This uh, bridge is built by Orbney and Jimbo. <laughs> Pop rocket. Nice iron golem farm. <laughs> Winter's car. And this is uh, Sin, I think. Let's actually buy a stack of iron. We can sell that to the villagers and get lovely emeralds. It has been a slow, old school grind here. I've done everything manually so far. And I like it, but it do take some time. But I think we are ready to head over to the shopping district again. If no one has starting to selling bricks yet, I could be the first maybe. I've got the stonemasons going here. We also need to buy wool for beds so we can get the population up here and get more professions. All right, new shops are popping up here all the time, it looks like. <laughs> An egg shop? Win oil. That looks gorgeous. Oh, wool, perfect. Did I bring my diamonds? Oh, I'm such an idiot. Maybe we'll find uh, some sheep of our own instead over at the desert area. Oh, something over there. That is uh, Jimbo's chalker box. Uh, what do you call it? Chalker box shop. And there is a chance that they include a price as well. Well, we are not there yet. We are far from end game. Maybe over at uh, this side. This is perfect, I think. I just want a small building. If we have some sort of entrance here. Maybe sandstone. I think no doors, just enter like this. Ooh, I'm really just winging it here. Yes, I know, I'm wasting materials, but I didn't bring a stone cutter, okay? A chest there, maybe? <laughs> oh, I'm kind of out of materials, so I won't have anything to sell yet. 
We can put in the flower pots. One diamond per 16. Might be too expensive, we'll see. Yeah, it resembles my starter house a bit, so that's uh, good. I made a stone cutter, by the way. <laughs> it could be here as an extra service. One diamond, 32 brick blocks or 16 flower pots. Let's start out that way. We're out of materials, but it's not much left to do. We need glass and we need to decorate it a bit more. And of course, stock it up properly. But we'll be back here later. Now check this out. I love cartographers. We'll turn these into glass panes. Oh yes. And now the paper. Woohoo! This will turn into a lot of bricks. Woohoo! Yeah, now we can refill the shop and maybe build the last bit. I also have more beds now than villagers, so they should start breeding soon. This is the finished look of the shop, by the way. Detailed, small and cozy. Yes, we unlocked the name tag trade. Now we can finally make that prank. Or it's more like a friendly favor than a prank, really. Jimbo, a while back on the Withering Effect podcast, became Jimbo with a Swedish J. Probably when discussing if Mojang should actually be pronounced Mojang instead. So I'm going to give Jimbo a present that goes back all the way to the comic craft days. An authentic Swedish chicken. Enjoy. Thank you for watching this episode and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.